Hey everyone! I am here today to show you how I deal with lace fronts that are buckling. Um, I see this question all the time and it's just the reality of lace fronts that happens at times and so I just wanted to show you what I personally do to take care of that problem. And it involves using It Stays. My tried and true it stays. There may be other ways to deal with a buckling lace front. This is the way that I deal with it and it works great for me. And so I'm gonna demonstrate that with my orchid wig. So I've, I've noticed that orchid um, by Aesthetica is starting to buckle on me a little bit. Not terrible, but um, using it stays just totally takes care of that. So let me put her on for you and I'll show you what I mean. Okay, so this is a kind of a different tutorial. It's a little, I'm gonna, a little trial and error here to make sure that I can see what I'm trying to see. So can you see right here how it's lifting up right there? It's not doing that over here. It just does it right there. Let me see if I can zoom. A little hair. Do you see that? And I, I know I'm touching the hair, but I, I'm really not lifting. So I'm not creating, let me get rid of that hair here. She just wants to buckle. That's just, I don't know if it's just, you know, where, I don't know if it's, um, I wasn't careful enough when I used it stays one time and, and I took it, let me get back out again. <laughs> okay, so anyway, so that's what she's doing. So I'm just gonna use it stays and I'm gonna tack that down and I'll show you how I do it. So first of all, I'm gonna roll on the it stays Okay, just like I do, I do it a little bit on my forehead, a little bit on my hairline. Okay, so I'm gonna put her on, make sure all the hair is out of here. Just look behind my camera in the mirror. I'm gonna wear orchid today, and when I noticed that buckling, I thought, perfect opportunity to do this tutorial. Okay, so I've got hair that's stuck. So I'm just gonna take my rat tail comb and pull some of this hair. It's wanting to get stuck in me, it stays, which sometimes happens. Okay, so now I'm gonna get her situated and you've got time to do adjusting with it stays it doesn't just all this, it's not like super glue. <laughs> okay, so now, let me see if I can zoom back in to really show you guys. So now that's where the buckling was. So what I wanna do is I wanna kinda, make sure she's really, I wanna pull. So I'm pulling on the ear tabs down to flatten the lace. And then I'm gonna stick my finger on here and I'll take care of all that hair in a minute. But I'm, and then I'm gonna press. So I'm pressing this way and this way. Press. And then that way, the lace is going to lay flat. And then I'm gonna take my washcloth because I get a little bit of it stays below the lace. And just make sure She's pressed down, okay? So now I'm gonna look in the mirror. I may need to get closer to my mirror to make sure that I've got the hair where I want it to be. And then I'll just situate her. While I'm doing this, it's sort of setting up. You know, the it stays is getting all set up in here. And when I do this, I'm just feeling if any of the hairs are stuck in the lace. And I don't feel any. Okay, so now let's get back in on this. And there is no buckle here. The buckle is gone because she's now been pressed. Do you see that? So by pressing her either way this way, like this, and then using my fingers to smooth it out, 
she is now adhered Let's go back out and there's no more buckle I have done this with multiple wigs not just this one I have a girl mono that that happened with um, sometimes what I'll do is I will take a pinking shears and I will cut the lace back a little bit let me show you that on my girl mono which just um, leaves less lace to buckle so you can see on my girl mono that she's got this scalloped edge I just took a pinking shears to her I will tell you that girl mono does seem to do that I've had that happen with a couple of girl monos I don't know if it's the lace that they use or if it's how she fits on my head it's really hard for me to say but I have noticed that so cutting the lace back a little bit with a pinking shears could be a good option I have done that with many wigs they do not fray um, John Renault recommends doing that with pinking shears with their wigs and so I've just tried that with others they even have a video out there on doing that so I have had some people respond that that is not recommended and it will cause fraying I have not experienced that yet so um, but you know everybody has to do what they're comfortable with anyway so that's all I've got for you guys I just wanted to show how you can lay down a lace that's buckling and it stays works great for that this will stay all day until I remove her at the end of the day and like I've said in other videos all I do is get my washcloth wet and I just sort of not sopping wet but enough that I can press on the lace and squeeze the washcloth and a little bit of water will come out it will get the lace wet and then if you let it sit for for me it takes less than 30 seconds I'll be able to lift that lace up but if it still feels like it's sticking maybe you put it back further on your hairline so it's sticking to your hair just take a little more water and that will release that it stays with no problem so let me know if you guys have questions I hope this was helpful if you have other tips on this topic if you've dealt with this and you've got other solutions put them in the comments let's share with each other I know people read these comments and actually I'm trying to get more people to engage in the comments because that's where all the help can happen thanks for watching you guys and have a great rest of the day I'll talk to you soon